Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome my name is Vanessa this is Nessa CX Beauty and today we are going to be talking about the brand new one size ultimate blurring setting powder by Patrick Starr this is releasing tomorrow November 9th um, at Sephora's online and it's gonna retail for $30 and it has 1.2 ounces in anticipation of this product I've been seeing a lot of comments going around saying bring back the MAC powder, this has to be the same as the MAC powder, MAC powder, MAC powder, MAC powder. That is all the comments in like trend mood, in the announcement video that Patrick made. So I just wanted to get down to the nitty gritty because I am planning on purchasing that powder tomorrow. But I want to know what to expect. So at first I was doing this for myself. But then I realized that it could actually be a video. I was comparing the ingredients between the One Size Ultimate Blurring Powder that's coming out tomorrow and the MAC Patrick Star Powder, which I do have under my eyes right now. I do have that for comparison when the new powder does come out. And I am wearing this. I'm going to zoom in to my under eye. It is a beautiful powder, but it was limited edition, and as y'all can see, my under eyes look phenomenal with this powder. It is one of my favorite powders, but I do use it very sparingly. So, when Patrick Starr announced that he was coming out with his own setting powder, my mind went to the same place as everyone else did. I was wondering if we were going to get this powder back. I was wondering how they were gonna compare, so I am gonna buy it to do a comparison video. But prior to buying it tomorrow, I did wanna see the ingredients. So, you know, I wouldn't get my hopes up. Maybe it'll be better, maybe it'll be worse. I don't know. I just wanna know if they're the same. And I wanted to get down to that because in a lot of cases, when brands or like people do reformulate things that they know and love, people don't like change. So a perfect example of that is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer. Um, a lot of people loved the original formulated, then Too Faced discontinued it and they brought this one out. This one is actually one of my favorite primers ever. I did not own the original one. But when you look into the reviews of this primer, a lot of people without trying it because the formula is different has given it a negative review. So. I doubt that'll happen with this one, but I do want to be cautious of that and I do want to let y'all know before you buy that this is not the same powder for the short answer. But if you're interested in seeing the long-ish answer, just continue watching. So prior to starting on the little explanation, I did want to throw up both of the ingredient lists. So one of which will be the One Size Ultimate Blurring Powder, and that one is right here. And then the other one is the MAC Patrick's Powder. We're going to talk about the first difference now, the amount of ingredients. The One Size Powder has 18 ingredients, so 18. The MAC Patrick's Powder has 44 ingredients. So it is jam-packed with so many ingredients that are designated as pigments, but in total it's 44 ingredients. And so I did want to point that out first, prior to getting into what they have in common and what they do not. Alright, so now that we know that they have different quantities of ingredients, let's get down to what they have in common. I did start writing down every single ingredient for each powder and then I highlighted in pink what ingredients they had in common and the ingredients that they have in common are talc, nylon 12, phenoxyethanol, caprylyl glycol, iron oxide, yellow 5, and ultramarines. So those are the ones that they have in common. And in total, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have seven ingredients total in common with each other. Meanwhile, one size has 18, MAC has 44. Keep that in mind as well. So after I found out what ingredients they have in common, again, I'm not a chemist, I'm not sure what the ingredients do, I did just want to see how they compared in terms of ingredients. I did want to look at other setting powders and their ingredients to see if any of the other setting powders had these ingredients in them. 
So I took a look at the Hourglass setting powder, the Fenty Beauty setting powder, the Laura Mercy Air setting powder, the Huda Beauty setting powder, the KVD Vegan Beauty setting powder, and the ABH setting powder. So I did look at a few different lists and each of these powders had one to two to three. The ABH powder had three of these um, ingredients in it in their formulas as well. So I marked them as common in setting powders, especially talc and yellow five, ultramarines and iron oxide. They were the most prominent in other setting powders, um, which I thought was pretty interesting as well. So in conclusion, we ain't getting the same thing. A lot of people are hoping that it will be, but a quick glance at these ingredients, you can tell that yes, they have some things in common, but no, they are not going to be the same thing. And this is not me coming in saying that the MAC one, the MAC one size powder, the Patrick Star one size ultimate blurring powder is going to be worse, but I am now like coming in with the expectation that it is going to be different and I'm going to have a different opinion whether that be that it's better, worse, or similar. So I did just want to share that information with all of y'all just in case you were expecting the same powder as well. But that is all I have for y'all today. Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world and I hope to see you soon. Are you picking up the powder tomorrow? Let me know down below. Bye-bye.